Tonight we're learning more about the Good Samaritan who ultimately gave his life for a stranger. Todd Riddle jumped into the water off Kima to help a kayaker, an act that his father says was exactly something Todd would do. Channel 2's Phil Archer is live in Kima where Riddle's body was recovered this morning after an all-night search. Phil. Yeah, Todd Riddle was a father and grandfather who leaves behind a large family who are remembering him tonight, as are others, as a hero. Todd Riddle gave his life attempting to save a stranger. Chambers County deputies and the Coast Guard recovered his body around 9 this morning, about 150 yards offshore of the Kima boardwalk where Riddle worked. When they told me that he had done it, I um, wasn't surprised at all. His father, former Deer Park Mayor Wayne Riddle, says Todd had gone into the water Wednesday to rescue a kayaker in trouble. The man was picked up before Riddle could get to him, so Todd started to swim back, but he didn't make it. Another boat had come by to rescue the uh, guy on the kayak. Uh, they, he turned around and was swimming back in, and uh, they saw him go under. Onlookers marked the spot, and rescuers searched through the night finally locating him with sonar this morning. He's a hero, and that's what we consider him. Greater love hath no man than to give his life for someone else, and uh, that was Todd. At 57, Todd Riddle was a family man with two grown children, grandchildren, and another grandchild on the way. He was a Navy veteran and a strong swimmer, a member of his high school swim team. His father says he's surprised Todd couldn't make it back to shore, but not surprised that his son made the attempt to save a life. He would do anything in the world for him. Anybody that, if it had been a, a stray dog, stray cat, or whatever out there, he'd have tried to save him. And so uh, I just, I'm just proud of him. I just appreciate uh, uh, his willingness to try to help somebody. Family is grieving tonight, but comforted by the memory of his selflessness and courage. Funeral arrangements are still pending. Reporting live in Kima, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Phil.